Good morning from Shenzhen. You can see that I am not exactly dolled up, but that's because I just got up and have ridden a Mobike down to the local Pizza Hut. In this video, I'm going to show you how to eat clean in Shenzhen. My priorities in doing that are, first of all, to eat so I don't get sick. Second of all, eat something that's nutritious and goes along with the diet that I generally follow. And then third, the consideration is eat something that tastes good. When I first moved to Shenzhen, I started at Pizza Hut because it was a multinational brand and I knew that they did things a certain way, at least similarly to the way they do it in America, so that I wouldn't get sick when I ate here. Come on inside and I'll show you what it looks like in here. Yeah. You saw me ordering and talking with the counter man. He was trying to tell me that there was no bread available with this meal. So here I have it, eggs, salad, and Canadian bacon. Does the body good? Talk to you when I finish. Well, that went just as planned. You saw me not haggling, but discussing with the counter worker that there wasn't bread with the American breakfast, which there usually is. It took a lot longer than it would if we both spoke the same language, but you got to see what it was like for me to try and speak Chinese and someone to try to communicate with me in English. It takes a few minutes. Eating the meal was far less stressful than ordering it. It was just fine. It was eggs, Canadian bacon and salad, and no bread. And now I'm out in about 15 minutes, and I'm not probably probably not going to get sick. A success for breakfast. I'll show you what lunch and dinner are like. Now begins the voiceover portion of the Eating Clean in China video. With the considerations of not getting sick and eating something decently nutritious in mind, I usually go to these places that have long lines and a lot of people. That way, you can tell that the place is reputable by Chinese people. Here we are in the line for lunch, and we call these places a slop shop, generally because they slop your food on your plate. It starts with the rice, as you might imagine in China. I usually don't eat the rice, not because it's bad for you or it tastes bad, but because I don't eat a lot of rice on my diet. And then you get your choice of different meats. That chicken there is like an oil fried chicken, it's very good. And you can see the prices of each side or entree are shown in those numbers. So she's giving me my food and I'm just moving along the line. Another thing that is helpful in trying to find a place that you are not likely to get sick is whether the staff has uniforms. If the staff has uniforms, then it's more likely that the restaurant, the food establishment, is a franchise of a larger operation, making them way more regimented and structured in the way they make their food. So if you're in China and you don't want to get sick, and you don't want to eat at an American place like Pizza Hut, just look for restaurants where the employees have uniforms. Now I'm showing here the register. This guy's going to pay with WeChat. Here's what it looks like. You take that scanner, just run it over your phone, and you're out. Here's dinner. So I'm back walking into another slop shop. It's not as nasty as it sounds. But it's not fine dining either. And same routine. 
This is not the same restaurant as before during lunch. They offer you rice. I always say, Booyao, don't want. Or Booyao Mi Fan, don't want rice. And I just walk through the line and pick. It's like having a meat and two in the United States. Like uh, Morrison's or SNS Cafeteria, Chinese style. So I just walk through, and that's it.